And my thought pattern would be, oh my gosh, I can't believe I have to deal with this. Here we go again, another day of this. I don't have any time for myself. This is happening every single day. I wish the stage was over. That was another thought pattern that I had that I really nurtured a lot. And then the day would start. My mornings and my day now look a lot different than they used to be. And this is before I set some awareness into my life about what I'm thinking. I really started paying attention to the thoughts that I was nurturing. And before, my day used to start off with something like me missing the alarm or not having an alarm, just waking up whenever. The kids would be up already because they're early risers, of course. And then they would already be demanding breakfast, certain Cheerios, bowls, bowl colors, what kind of bowl colors they want, what toppings they want on their oatmeal. Everybody wants everything right away and it's all urgent. And my thought pattern would be, oh my gosh, I can't believe I have to deal with this. Here we go again, another day of this. I don't have any time for myself. This is happening every single day. I wish the stage was over. That was another thought pattern that I had that I really nurtured a lot. And then the day would start. On the days that we would have church, trying to get five kids out the door was kind of really hectic. And it still is hectic. I'm still working on that one. That's not an easy one. And my usual thought pattern was, why can't they just listen to me? If they just listen to me, everything would be so much easier then one kid decides to find different shoes that they're gonna wear, different color shoes that they're gonna wear. Somehow those color shoes, whoa, branch, are never matching. And then you're just thinking, how are you supposed to get out the door like that that doesn't even have a matching shoe and you think that's acceptable to wear? And then it's always just frantic, like, just go, 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 just get another shoe. Why can't you guys have it all? Why can't you help me? That was another thing that was really typical of me to really nurture in my life, that thought pattern. And then pants, somehow nobody can find pants. And if I'm not yelling at this point then, or if you're not yelling at that point, <laughs> kudos to you because that's already frustrating when you're already trying to get kids in shoes and get everyone dressed. The house is a mess. You can't, can't even do the dishes. And then somehow your oldest kid loses pants. How do you lose pants? Or you find pants and then realize that the pants that people are choosing to wear to a service is completely unacceptable because they're covered with either food stains or dirt or whatever else kids tend to get into while they have church clothes. I don't know what. And then you get in the car. Oh, do you hear the ducks? Those are fun. You get in the car, siblings start fighting over this magical ratio for who gets what car seat and you're not even aware of that they have this rotation of car seats. They start bickering at each other. You start yelling. I start yelling. And then somebody wants the window down. Music, no music, everyone's bickering and you're just trying to get through the car ride <laughs> at this point. And then after the church service or wherever else you're going, maybe you're going and realizing that you forgot something. Of course you forget something because you're in such a frantic state. And then you get home after all of that and you're just exhausted. And then maybe kids want to play with you and they want more energy from you. They want that connection. And you're just so exhausted. You're already feeling snappy. And then you have the dinner on top of that to cook. And just feeling of overwhelm and stress and frustration was a constant in my life all the time. I'm gonna put you down, see if I can find a spot. So that used to play out a lot in my life and then I realized what thoughts am I nurturing in my life and are these thoughts really helpful to me? So all of those were thought patterns that I thought to myself are not really, really helpful. And it wasn't until I made that a priority to change around in my life that that whole scenario looked completely different and looks completely different now that I'm completely aware of the thoughts that are running on default that are not really helpful for me. Well, the same scenario sort of happens and it plays out for me very differently. 
and right now it actually starts from the day before. I know that if I get enough sleep, I'm a better functioning mother. <laughs> I also know that if I'm on technology or I'm watching a show, that I am too hyped up to go to sleep because my mind is still trying to process all that. So I've really learned to set boundaries for myself to get away from any kind of technology use in the evenings past eight o'clock or nine o'clock. And now it looks completely different because I feel the urge coming on and I just say to myself, nope, I'm just committed to having a better day tomorrow. And sometimes I am willing to sacrifice that. Sometimes I am willing to say, well, today, is, tomorrow is not gonna be as a day that I can sacrifice that sleep time and I'm just willing to watch a show for today and that's okay with me, but I'm consciously making that choice. So sleep the night before is a huge priority. When I get up in the mornings, now I'm really trying to get into a habit of saying glory to God for all things because every day is so, so special. Every day of life that we get is such a gift and we don't really intentionally give glory and thanks to God until we realize that we're not giving thanks for this day. And then maybe starting to implement saying that every single day, trying to pray in the mornings, trying to get up before my kids so I can have that prayer time has also been a boundary and a limit that I have to set with my kids because when they get up early in the morning and they want breakfast right away, I have a boundary and a limit there of saying no, no breakfast until at least 6.30 in the morning so I can get my prayer time in because it feeds my soul. It gives me grace for the rest of the day. So praying for people in my life, praying for you guys, praying for my parish community, for the people that are in my life, that has really been a priority for me recently and that just that grace really spills over to the rest of the day and I could really tell a difference when that happens. Now sometimes Yes, the same thing happens and I do spin in the same thought patterns and I do feed those same default thought patterns of I can't stand this, I didn't get enough sleep, I didn't get enough me time or whatever, but I'm just consciously more aware of it. Now, when my kids are looking for pants, I think about that ahead of time, like, okay, they've had dirty pants for the past like week. I need to maybe just ask the kids to throw the pants into the laundry right after they get after they're done with church service or maybe having shoes out the night before i've also done getting shoes out so they don't have to fight looking for shoes out when we're trying to get out the door when they ask for things in the car like rotations or whatever i make a mental note of like okay they're arguing over this i need to talk to so and so about being kind to their siblings and really try to have that conversation later on when everyone is not in a fight or flight. I think that if I need a break, I really notice now that I need a break away from the noise. And I sometimes tell my kids I need a break from the noise. This is too overwhelming. My, <laughs> my legs are being tired. Oh, I'll pick you up again. I'm walking outside and it's such a beautiful day today. And I really want to show you this day too. So that day looks completely different now that I actually have my mindset tools that I use, but, and I don't think that there's one thing that you could really do to make a difference. If it was one thing, I would say to really start becoming aware of your thought patterns, because in order to change something, we first have to become aware of those things. So that would be what I would focus on. <laughs> but in the end, I think that all of us have to make that choice of, I don't wanna live like this anymore. I'm feeling so burnt out and so overwhelmed. But I really just don't wanna live like that anymore. Making that conscious choice has been that game changer. And I want you to know that it's definitely possible to go from black to white in the same circumstance and all it involves is just you becoming more aware, more conscious of what thoughts you're really paying attention to and what thoughts you're nurturing. Really taking a break, walking away outside and breathing so my brain is not in a fight or flight all the time. 
has been such a game changer when I'm allowing myself that space to just go outside and get my brain back online say a prayer and take a few deep breaths and just say to myself it's okay this is not an emergency i didn't want my kids to have that memory of their life on sunday mornings to be that their mom was being crazy bananas all the time so that's what did it for me when you look at your own life just remember that it is always possible to change your thought patterns. It might take some practice because some of our default thinking is so ingrained in us and it becomes so just habitual that we don't pay attention to it and it becomes that much harder for us. But still, that possibility is open to all of us because we have neuroplasticity, we can always change the way that we think and that's just the scientific terms but life of the church and the life of christ shows us that we can we can become transfigured so i really wanted to leave you with that i hope <laughs> that you found a little bit of inspiration and encouragement to remember that you can do hard things like that as well and if you really want to start off somewhere, I have a free self-coaching guide that you can grab down below. It's a printout that shows you how you're feeling, what you're thinking, what thoughts you're nurturing, and how to really start changing those, those thought patterns. But I really find that the awareness piece, if you take anything away from this, is that you can become aware of your thoughts and you have the ability and the possibility to start changing those thoughts. So if you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up. I hope that you will pray for me just like I am praying for you as well. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Take good care of yourself, Mama. Bye.